Hello and welcome. My name is Willow and this is You Need a Bento. Here we discuss all things bento related from recipes to reviews, tips, and even some history. Today we're looking over what is bento and where did it come from? The too long didn't read version is it's a lunch packed into a pretty or plain bento box tightly so it doesn't move around and ruin the aesthetic. It's balanced, healthy, generally speaking. But where did it come from? Why? Why does bento exist? Let's find out. The first packed lunch concept in Japan goes back to about the 5th century when cooked and dried rice was carried by people unable to return home for their meals. It could be eaten dry or rehydrated for consumption, called hoshi-e. I don't think that's a very welcoming lunch. In the Nihon Shoki, one of Japan's oldest records, it recalls falconers using feet sacks as lunch bags. Also, in the Tales of Issei, there are illustrations of people eating dried rice during a trip, presumably to Issei. The word bento is said to have started with the infamous Oda Nobunaga, who lived from 1534 to 1582, for the individual portions of food handed out to the people at his castle. Wooden lacquered bento boxes are said to have originated during the tense times of the Azuchi Momoyama period. They were used for hanami and outdoor tea ceremonies. During the Edo period from 1603 to 1868, bento became something more than a workman's lunch. It became an essential part of outdoor excursions and the theater. Koshi bento or waste bento that consisted of a few onigiri wrapped in bamboo leaves were popular for tucking into one's obi. The Menonochi bento made its first appearance during this era. It takes its name from the intermissions during a play, which is when it was served and eaten. At the end of the Meiji period, between 1868 and 1912, the railway station was built and bento changed yet again. Ekiben, which is a combination of eki for train and bento, was born. The first Akiben was reportedly sold in 1885 at Utsunomiya Station in Tokiji Prefecture and consisted of rice balls with pickled apricots inside. World War I brought yet more changes for bento and not necessarily for the best. The export boom and crop failures made bento only affordable for the wealthy and were considered a luxury. Children having bento at school was considered a sign of the family's wealth. In an attempt to improve the health of school children, the Ministry of Education recommended the school lunch program. Bento in the modern world has seen a bit of a resurgence since the 1980s, both in Japan and abroad. In Japan, bento can be found anywhere, from local restaurants to convenience stores with an amazing variety. Some notable examples are chuka bento, which are filled with more of a Chinese food, and are generally either an appetizer or like a late night snack. Hinomaru bento, which is rice with an umeboshi at the center replicating the Japanese flag. Fun fact, when bento boxes were made out of aluminum, having the umeboshi in the center bored a hole through the aluminum because of the acidity. Kamameshi bento were a form of ekiben sold in Nagano. The clay pot the meal is cooked and served in is often a souvenir. Sake bento, which sake is salmon in this instance, not the alcohol. Shidashi bento is a delivered restaurant style bento and is often eaten at gatherings such as funerals, corporate parties, that sort of thing. Shokado bento is served in a traditional black lacquered box. Tori bento is a chicken and sauce and rice bento that's kind of popular in Gunma. Karaban or karaban or character bentos, we've all seen those. Shikeshi ben is a funny one. Literally translated, it's revenge bento. It can be inedible because of over seasoning, missing a chopstick, being undercooked, or having an unpleasant word written in some form of ingredient on the bento that expresses the maker's displeasure. It's worth a Google, it's really funny. Aisai ben, or bento of love, which is generally what we strive for. Haya ben, which is literally an early bento or some form of bento that's meant to be eaten before lunch. There's hoka ben, bento bought at takeout bento shops. Nori ben, where nori is dipped in soy sauce and laid on the rice. 
A great example is in Food Wars when Soma made it for the 43rd Ottoman elections. If you haven't seen Food Wars, stop now. Go watch that. It's amazing. What's a style of bento you would like to try? Leave a comment with which and why. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.